Hello, good morning, Africa. Good morning, South Sudan. Welcome to Morning Breakfast Show, coming to you live right here in our studio from South Sudan, capital, Juba. My name is Majur Cholkor, and in our today editions of African Morning Breakfast Show, I'm profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to say it. I'm joined right here by one of the gentlemen, one of the inspiring young men in the country that is doing business-related activities in South Sudan. And in this edition of Morning Breakfast Show, we're going to talk about the importance of homemade water and how is it important for South Sudanese to drink the water that is made within their own country. And joining me in this edition is none other than Deng Arob, Mawen General Manager for Elite Water Factory. Gentlemen, you're most welcome to Morning Breakfast Show on SBC. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, our warm greetings from the Elite uh, Water Management Leadership. And we are grateful this morning to join you guys. Um, as a new owned digital company, we are making sure our water are the best quality in town. And we are grateful that our, our overwhelming support from our in, uh, country, men and women, uh, are enjoying the water. And it's just because of the quality that we are bringing, not just because we are indigenous, but we are competing in a market level, bringing the quality that our people should enjoy. Thank you so much, uh, Deng. And uh, dear viewer, thank you so much for following Morning Breakfast Show wherever you're watching. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your journey, how you become the general manager of Elite Water Factory. Before even we go into detail of what is Elite Water Factory all about, what are the visions and the mission? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm honored that I was chosen to be a general manager of the Elite. There's a lot of people who put uh, a lot of efforts to do the company since the beginning. And I want to give them thanks and their work efforts. At the same time, as uh, uh, this is the first indigenous owned company that's operated by indigenous. As you may see last time when uh, you guys uh, pay a visit at our factory, at the logo one, we have uh, over now 100 people working at the depot, and we're having a factory inside at the floor. They are producing a quality drinking water uh, because now we're having a seven layers of the purified uh, system. So where the water goes, start with the first layers, where it treated 100%. And then we go to second and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh. And now we're producing quality water for our people. And even now our competitors are responding to us in positive manner, and they are trying to change the tactic so they can adapt the same system that we are putting in place. Good. Let's, let's talk a little bit about um, the visions and the missions of Elite Water Factory. The vision is for us, we fought for our country. And now we are fighting to develop our country by our own, made indigenous own. There's nothing that citizens can control to control their own economy. Economy is very important for the, any country in the world. Having indigenous owning their own country by pro producing their own product, it, 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 it keeps the level, level playing fields. So now for the water issue in, in Juba, it's not an issue anymore. Because South Sudanese own companies here to produce the quality water. And this is our vision. And our mission is to bring South Sudanese to work as you can see this last time. They are working in the factory, producing quality water and enjoying them. And they are working proud, made in South Sudan. The test of South Sudan, elite water. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit about why is it important for a South Sudanese to drink a clean, purified water, natural water made in South Sudan. Starting from you, why is it important to drink your own water from South Sudan? It's because we, we are trying to give our people the best quality that in town. And we are making an excellent step to bring the quality water for our people. And that's, that means that uh, we are doing everything we can at the factory level with a water processing engineer. They are working on timely. Like you said last time, in our lab, we tested our water three times a day, to making sure that the, the quality of the water is, a, is expectation are met, because we are giving everything in our power to make sure our people are enjoying uh, what they're supposed to enjoy. Without in, we are not in a hurry to make a profit, but we are in a hurry to give our people the help that they need. Now, how are South Sudanese who have uh, started being your client, start perceiving elite water uh, when they take, especially maybe a normal South Sudanese would drink for the first time or maybe uh, several times. How does that person perceive you? We are, we are grateful. We are receiving a very positive uh, feedback from our, our, our customers and uh, across the country, uh, especially those who are already enjoying the lead water. They have become our regular customers. The, the feedback is very overwhelming, and we are, we are grateful for that. 
So we haven't have any issue with the water. Uh, even last week, we had a visit by British Ambassador uh, Johnny Beta, which is our great honor as a company. To have a foreigner dignitary coming to our country was something that uh, touched us. Uh, so now we have to extend uh, the same spirit that we started the company to continue, not just today, not just tomorrow, but in, in the years to come. Deng, let's, let's talk a little bit about how elite water come into life. Like, who were the people who sat down and said, we are South Sudanese and we are not supposed to go to the neighboring countries, even transport even water, import water from other countries, then now we need to have a water company in the country. So who are these people exactly and how did it come about? We're having a board leadership, board executive. The board leadership sat down and came up with the idea. And then the, that idea has been executed by, its, it, by, the, by the leadership where we identified the, the side of the river, and identified the location. And we took no, no, we didn't waste any time. We took the initiative and we put the plan into place. And now, as a general manager, it's to, to overlook this progress. That is why I said with you today to conduct, uh, reach out to all our people across the country and I'm honored to be here this morning. Thank you so much, and we're honored to have you. And dear viewer, thank you so much for following African Morning Breakfast Show. We are coming to you live right here in our studio from South Sudan, capital Juba. My name is Majur Cholkor, and in our today editions of African Morning Breakfast Show, we're talking about the importance of having your own water in your own country, and how is it important to have a factory, like elite water factory, as an indigenous owned water company in the country. Let's look at uh, the government of South Sudan and elite water, uh, water factory. What support do you get from the government? Absolutely, we have no support from the government. Uh, but we, we are hoping if they are listening, if they are getting support, we cannot say no. Because we are a small uh, company, we are still uh, trying to progress. And if any support coming from anyone uh, watching today, we'll be grateful. But we are not uh, having any support at, at this stage. We, we, we have been seeing from all your social media platform uh, requestings and uh, asking and appealing to the members of public to come and book or sign an MOU with uh, Elite Water Factory so that you can be delivering water to this, uh, maybe some household or the institution. Do you say maybe you don't have even uh, partners from uh, the government institution that you you supply with your water? No, absolutely no. I, I, I never said that. Uh, what I will say is, we're having a, 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 a contract with some uh, in the individual, and then uh, with the institution of the, the government that need our water, but there's no MOU has been signed at this stage. But we are delivering water when they ask for it. So our delivering teams are ready to deliver water to anyone, regardless of the position, um, the titles. So we, our, ours is a business. So we're delivering water to anyone. Okay. So could that be part of the support that the government is rendering to you or not? Absolutely. Whoever buy our water is support for us, and we are grateful. So it doesn't matter the position, but ours as a company, we need uh, support from anyone to buy our water. Now, you talked earlier about uh, the number of South Sudanese that you have employed and mentioning it that Elite Water Factory is an indigenous-owned uh, company. How many young South Sudanese have you employed so far? And what was the criteria of employing these young people? There is those working on, on, the, on the floor, uh, uh, processing the water through the uh, machines. So those have less experience. And those are working in uh, administration. Um, majority of them have experience in different fields. And those are working depots, uh, doing um, helping with the uh, loading stuff. So they have no experience, but they are expert in loading. So we give everybody the rightful place when they apply. Now looking at the site where Elite Water Factory is operating, which is Lologo, That's uh, how are the community members, especially people around Lologo, benefiting from you as a company? Absolutely, they are benefiting. Even the people that are working in the factory there, majority of them are women from the Lologo area. And most of them, they are sending their gratitude to a company for this opportunity that they have. And we are even giving a local uh, football station, a local, local one, a support in, in the beginning when we start operating. And in the road that leading to the factory, a uh, company built it uh, with their own money. So we, that place was a swamp.
So it was difficult for the local people to go to the river and fetch for the water. But now, that area has been fixed by elite management. So now we ease the movement of the local people and we um, support them with the clean water in the area. Uh, so the water there, they are affordable and a lot of them, they are grateful for a company to be there as their own. Okay, thank you so much, Deng. And to our viewer, thank you so much for following uh, these editions of African Morning Breakfast Show. Let's have a break and we'll be right back shortly. Well, we'll be back, dear viewer. Thank you so much for still following African Morning Breakfast Show. We are coming to you live right here in our studio from South Sudan capital, Juba. And we're talking about the importance of clean drinking water, having your own water factory in the country. How does it benefit you as a South Sudanese, as communities of South Sudan, and the people who are working under this factory and helping us understand and digest more in this discussion is the general manager of Elite Water Factory. That is none other than Deng Arup Mawin. Deng, welcome back. Thank you very much. We were talking about uh, the benefit of the community members and people around your area yeah. of operation. Uh, why do you choose Lologo to be your site of operation? Leadership identified the area, and we want to be close to the River Niles to, to operate there. And that the place came to in light for us as an opportunity place. I was didn't never the time. We took it straight away. We started operating the company there. And the, the place is a strategic area, uh, not just uh, close to the new bridge, Freedom Bridge, but in the middle of the supplying chain for, for the, our market, it's close to the Konyukonyo and other places that the market can reach out to South Sudanese. Okay. Now let's talk about if I'm someone who is living in a wheel in Rombeg, in Kwajog, in Torid maybe in Bor and other part of uh, the Republic of South Sudan, 10 state and 3 administrative area. How can I get elite water? Absolutely. We are working to make sure that the water reaches to Wau, and that will be uh, our depot to other state. And we, in the beginning in September, we got delivery to Bor, so where the UN there got some water from us, elite. So elite actually, they are everywhere. Even I saw somebody posting in Irumbe, uh, posting with the elite water. So uh, somebody posting in the wheel with the lead water. Somebody posting in uh, Kwajok with the lead water. So the water actually they are reaching out in, uh, across the country, but we haven't have a depot there. But people will have the water, they are taking them with them. But we'll continue to operate and extend our water to everywhere across the country. In the few months that you have been operating, like about four months now. That's correct. Uh, what could be the challenges that you encounter in the long run? Any company that is started new, they always have challenges. And we are anticipating that. The challenges will continue, but as a team, we will overcome them. We are working as a team, and this, this leadership that we are having in place will overcome this. And any challenges for the new company, it takes some time. But what, what could be the challenges? Any challenges is uh, we could have any, any challenges that are ranging from uh, sell, ranging from uh, marketing, ranging from uh, low, um, income coming. So these are the challenges that any company face. But we are, we are grateful that our company started it on the right track. We continue to monitoring and adjust tactic where it is, where it is necessary. How unique is uh, elite water compared to other waters in the, in the country? We have some water that are imported from Uganda, from Kenya, and other neighboring countries. So what is the uniqueness of elite water when coming to the branding and coming to the issues of uh, the, the, the cost, the market price? Mm. Yeah. It's the quality of the water, so and the purified of the water. So our water is quality uh, in terms of the layers of the, of the purification. So our water have that test that is, is being um, uh, received uh, positively by our customers and our consumers. Uh, our water, uh, even our, con our competitors, and asking our style. But as a company, we cannot share with them. Because the house and a company, uh, as you see last time when you visit the factory, the factory have a system in place that go through um, the quality tests, the quality uh, treatment. So where the water treated uh, different layers, seven layers. 
And this is where we, we stand tall uh, with our, our pride of Teresa South Sudan, elite water. So how much is a bottle of uh, elite water? It de depends on that uh, because our, our customers who bought our water, like restaurants, they sell it differently. But officially sell, uh, sell from our factory, one bottle is 150 SSP. And 24 in crates is 2,200. And we're having boxes, so which is uh, 3,000. Um, most of the boxes and uh, plastics, they have the same quality, but the difference is, is the box. Because the box, for us, is environmental uh, issues that we, we came up with this issue. So the board executive, um, thinking that the boxes will, uh, will save the environment. So with the leadership, accept, and it's very true. That's why we are using the boxes, but boxes are a bit expensive to our, cost, uh, to our, our people. So we give them option, the plastic and boxes. And now, with our company, we are reducing the, the, the backlash of the, uh, of the press asking about the environmental impact. We're using the plastic. So which our company is on top of it. Well, thank you so much, Ding, for making it to African Morning Breakfast Show, especially on SBC. Yeah. And before we wind up this discussion, uh, you did mention that there is no enough support that you are getting from the government. And on this platform, as you speak to thousands of South Sudanese, other well witches from private owned uh, institutions and the government. First, what could be your interest as the general manager, as the company, to the top leadership of the country and other uh, large uh, institution of the government in regard to how you want uh, elite water, water company to be supported by South Sudanese? Because this is your own company. This is your own people who are doing the quality water in, your, in, in the country. And this is your factory. So as I said this, this is our starting of fighting back to develop our country in a style that any other country uh, can do. Because as I said this, our aim is to have a quality environment like you see in the, our factory. We are putting environment um, issue as the first priority and producing the quality water. And if you there to support your own country mate, you are supporting your people. Because this money is going to South Sudanese. And there's no issue that that can shy you away not to support the elite water. Elite water have the, the best quality. And like I mentioned before, even our competitors are calling us to see what are, what are we doing best for the elite water. It's just because of the purification of the water and the layers of the water we put in place, water treatment system and consistency every day. Uh, t testing the system very well, testing the water, making sure the water have the quality uh, for drinking for our people. So if you are a business person, or if you are in the government institution and you want to have a, something to support anyone, support the lead management, leadership, support the water treatment, support us in uh, helping on, especially the roads, uh, and supporting um, us through other means so we can even stand tall to operate for long term. And for us, we want to expand to even employ more people in the factory. South Sudanese can enjoy the water, not just this week, not just this year, but years to come. Okay, they, now let's cross over to other neighboring countries. Uh, South Sudan always import water from Uganda, Kenya, and you've mentioned others. And South Sudan now is having its own water factory, which is Elite. That's correct. Do you feel like Elite water will also uh, raise the image of South Sudan in other countries? Are you planning to uh, take South Sudan water to, to other countries? Absolutely, and we are grateful for anyone doing advertisement, especially uh, Bola Book, Bolkarbino. Last time there was a show in Uganda, it took some water there. And the water were shown to other Uga Ugandans, and they loved the water. And other people who want to travel with our lead water to Kenya, to neighboring country, they all are advertising our water. But we are ready to supply water into Kenya, to Uganda, to other parts of East African country, and beyond. So for us, our water are not um, uh, restricted to anyone. So they, are, they are, can go anywhere around the world. So for us, as a management, we will find a way to, to extend it, our water to all South Sudanese across the country, and then we can export to any country that need our water. Thank you so much, Deng, for making it to Morning Breakfast Show on SBC. Now let's come to the discipline of your workers, the South Sudanese that elite water factory has employed. Yes. If one of them may not adhere to the safety 
regulations and procedures of uh, uh, this water for it to come as clean as purified for the for the consumptions of South Sudanese. What will you do to them? We don't tolerate uh, mismanagement. We don't tolerate uh, not following the company policy and procedure. We don't tolerate somebody having a shortcut. We train our people who are working with us in the factory to follow the company policy and procedures. We train people to follow the steps that are given to them by the leadership. So if somebody come across that is doing a shortcut, it will be Sumun in the office and we have to answer for him or herself. And leadership will find a way to, to make sure that such thing cannot happen again. If something that happened as a beyond our, our, our mean or something that very serious, and the person will be disciplinary uh, expelled. So that is a company. Any company that operating in a successful way will do the same thing. That's what we all will do, and that's what any company can do. Well, thank you so much. I wish this would not be the last time for you to come to that's Morning right. Breakfast Show that's and right. other programs of SABC and to your teams. We do appreciate your acceptance of uh, our invitation to come for the show. And right now, before I let you go, what could be your message to South Sudanese and all your clients, all your customers? We believe that not only South Sudanese who are drinking elite water, but other nationals who are residing within Juba, and as you're planning to export water to other countries, then elite water will be for everyone in South Sudan and, and in Africa at large, and maybe the whole world in future. So what could be your message to all your well-wishers? I want to thank our people for overwhelming uh, support since the beginning. We are grateful as a management. At the same time, we extended that you each day and each, each night, if you buy a little water, you support your own uh, country made. Our water are not just uh, quality that we are providing, but our water has historical um, for our people. And that's why we employ South Sudanese 100%. In, in all our depots, we have one depot in Kololo, one in Jebel, and one in uh, Gudele. They are all operational. So this is just for South Sudanese to see. We are giving our people the best quality of drinking water. We are giving our people the best training so they can work here and in the future they can extend that uh, work that they are doing uh, uh, lead water to somewhere else that they may get out more opportunity, better opportunity that we are offering. So for you, as a student, from the government to the private to anywhere, please support your own uh, people, that what they are doing, so we can continue to be a successful nation. Uh, we went as well to our people, especially in the traffic police, to give our drivers a, a, a free go most of the time because when the driver is misbehaving, of course, uh, that will be dealt by law. But if they are just doing a, a regular cell, so give them a chance so they can do their own work during the daytime. So thank you very much for this opportunity. And I thank you, Major Joe. Uh, last time you paid a visit to the factory. And this is grateful for us as South Sudanese and continue with the spirit of unity as South Sudanese. Thank you so much, Deng. And uh, to my colleague and the viewers, thank you so much for following this edition of African Morning Breakfast Show. Remember, water is life. Wherever you are living, you need water for your own health and benefit. And uh, for the success of the South Sudan and the benefit and South Sudanese promotions of their own meat, then you have to get yourself a little water, at least one bottle a day, even if you mix up with other water. It depends with your own feeling about the water. And for me, I've been always fan of elite water. Thank you so much and uh, wish to meet you again next time. And as you continue to enjoy the rest of the program right here, we say it, me and my colleague, the sound technicians and the engineers in the control room. Do have a lovely time. And to Deng Arup, thank you so much for honoring our invitation. It's a pleasure.